Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning into Midgard Musings today and watching today's video. My name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel, as you may or may not already know. If this is your first time, I appreciate your support. For everybody else who's already supported Midgard Musings through your views, comments, likes, and subscriptions, thank you very much. I want to call to attention the fact that I am actively and aggressively seeking 2,000 subscribers by or before January 1st, 2020. All right, that means that we need to get at least three new subscribers every day until then, and your help is greatly appreciated. I couldn't do this, well, I could do this if it wasn't for each and every one of you, but it wouldn't be nearly as fun because I would just be talking to nobody. All right, so everybody's participation and involvement on this channel is greatly appreciated. I invite you to please write down here, see it, right down there, please click that subscribe button don't want to miss any videos here on this channel be sure to click the bell notifications because then you will get notified every time that I upload new content all right guys I appreciate everybody's uh, everybody's support and I look forward to learning new things with each and every one of you about Norse heathenry Germanic paganism all that kind of fun stuff so please become a subscriber today that button is right down here it costs you literally nothing to become a subscriber and then if you want to be notified just click the bell for notifications it's all right if you don't but it is appreciated if you do check the description down below for all the other ways that you can support Midgard Musings through Facebook Patreon Teespring Redbubble uh, anything else that you see down there click on the links follow them see if it's something that fits you I appreciate all your support let's jump in to today's video hail and thank you all Welcome back to another NorseBlood.com unboxing crate review. Very excited to be sharing this today uh, with everybody. As you may know, um, I do reviews for NorseBlood.com for their uh, NorseBlood crate services. Okay, that's a really cool subscription-based service. I'm going to leave the, the details for all that type of stuff down in the description. If you like what you see in these crates, I encourage you to go check out NorseBlood.com and get yourself some really cool stuff uh, from these uh, fine, fine individuals sending out all kinds of really cool, you know, Norse Viking type uh, uh, apparel and jewelry and just all kinds of really cool stuff, right? So uh, today is going to be the July crate review. I realize that it is now almost the end of August and uh, so that's going to be a little bit late. That's just because the crate was late getting to me, uh, just because of some circumstances out of my control. But, be that as it may, we're here to do the July crate review, and as I usually try to do, um, I'm going to typically start from the item in, there's, there's usually four to five items, or well, between three and five items. This month, again, comes with five items. Um, so I'm going to start with the fifth item on the list for me, which is the least interesting or least cool or one that I'm just not as thrilled or excited about. It's nothing against Norse blood and it's nothing against the quality of the item. It's just like in my own personal preference, there's going to be things that I think that are my favorites, things that I think that are maybe not quite so. Um, so that's kind of like my rating system. All right, so we're going to start with item number five. Actually, no, we're not going to start with item number five. We're going to start with this really cool box. They all come in boxes just like this. It's really nothing cool. It's just a <laughs> glossy cardboard box that says Norse blood on it. Okay. And then the pamphlets that come with every crate tells you a little bit about what's in each crate. It tells you the details about the item. So we're not going to open up the pamphlet to reveal anything. I'm going to go through the items one at a time and tell you all about it myself. All right, so item number five, for real this time, um, got a deck of cards. Just a plain, regular deck of cards. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And it's nice, plastic, uh, protective coating, if you will. Um, now there's a little bit of damage to the box, but that's no big deal. It says Ragnarok on it, if you can tell. Okay. Um, and what else it says? It's got some neat like artwork design on it. Okay. And then inside are your playing cards. All right, so the playing cards 
all have the same kind of design on the back of them. And then here are the respective cards, okay? I'm gonna try to just fan them out a little bit, show everybody. There's your spades and clubs and all this kind of stuff. So uh, you got your eight, your seven, six, five. The numbers are a little bit hard to read if you're, you know, not used to like a Norse font. That's obviously a nine. Um, let's take these. Are, these are the really cool ones, I think, out of them all. The uh, the character or, or the face cards, right? The face cards. So let's pull out the face cards and focus on that. The number cards are just kind of what they are. But check out these these face cards, right? Got this really cool like Earl Viking guy um, for the uh, for the Jack, and you got another gnarly looking Viking dude. Another one with really cool helmet on. These are really cool. I like the face cards um, out of them all. What the heck that is, but that's pretty gnarly. And we got the Queen. Queen of uh, Hearts and Clubs. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's number five on my list just because I don't play cards a whole lot. Um, so it's not going to be something that I probably find myself using very much. Um, but if you play cards, poker, gin, solitaire, 52 card pickup, whatever, um, they're right up your alley. Okay, item number four on the list for me. Um, is going to be this is actually kind of cool you know like as we get closer to the beginning of the my, my top pick uh, of everything that comes in the Norse crates it, it is a little bit difficult for me to pinpoint it but this one's actually kind of cool it's just there's one particular reason why it's number four and not closer on the list and that is this really neat little bag and that's all it is nah just kidding um, it is actually a travel a uh, game of Nefetafel, and I believe that's the correct pronunciation of it, Nefetafel. And Nefetafel is a old strategy board game, a war strategy board game that dates back to sometime between the 4th and 12th centuries, so it actually is older than the game of chess. Alright, so in that bag contains this almost like a, a leather feeling type of material for the game for, for the actual surface of the board okay now it's gonna be kind of hard because it's all creased right now but you can kind of tell there's this like uh, uh, looks like a web of, of weird almost in the center you got some Ravens aesthetic it, all around it it says Norse blood um, it's got the runes and all this around here um, and then the pieces that you play with um, and so it's a travel set, right? It's something you can take with you, obviously. Now, the reason why it's number four for me on the list is because according to the packet, and according to the pamphlet that it comes with, it says that there are instructions included on how to play this game. And there are none, at least not in my crate. The only thing that comes with this is this sticker that says Nefetafel, and it says uh, Seven, Oaks, Kent, uh, Seven Oaks Grove, it says Norse Blood, and creative images. So it's a sticker with a Vulcan on it and it says Nifatopel. There are actually no rules. But the cool thing about it is that we live in the 21st century and I can actually Google the rules for Nifatopel and I will find the best one that I can come up with and leave that down in the description as well. So check that out when you get a chance if Nifatopel is your thing. Number three! Alright, so number three was is actually one thing that I thought was something else all right so here is actually what I thought that it was yeah so I thought I got this like really cool bandana or something right with like some uh, runic stuff going all the way around it um, and I was like, cool, I don't wear bandanas, but it looks cool, maybe hanging up on the wall, whatever, people like bandanas, handkerchiefs, whatever, it's really cool. Well, then I looked at it a little bit more, and what it actually is, is this. It is not a bandana, as I show it to you upside down. It is actually what they call a rune casting cloth. 
Alright, it's thin, like a bandana would be, like a handkerchief would be. But it is a rune casting cloth, guys. Um, it is actually really pretty. Um, you got this, you know, uh, the Elder Food Art runes going all the way around it. You got a Valknut right in the center. Um, it's numbered all the way, you know, there, there's numbers going all the way around it. Um, you know, so you got, you got that going on. I, you know, even though I do rune castings and I work with runes, I don't use a rune casting cloth. A lot of people do. Um, so I think it was, I want to say March's crate. Um, any of the annotated cards that you see up here, um, I believe it was March's crate, came with a set of uh, uh, obsidian runes, rune stones. So, for the folks that have been subscribed to the crate services from NorseBlood.com since then, not only now do you have a nice little set of runes, but you got yourself a rune casting cloth to work with them on. So, there's that. Alright, on to the next one. Number two. All right, guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this piece, got two pieces left uh, of the crate, uh, and they're both jewelry. Uh, this one's actually really nice because I love things that Norse Blood does that kind of fits all different types of pagan uh, approaches, right? It's, it's, yes, it has a very strong, like, Norse Viking, you know, uh, aesthetic to things. Um, and, you know, that may seem pretty macho and, and just for the guys and stuff, but like we have an example right now, we have things that can and will appear, appeal to our feminine folk and the ladies and the ones who would love just a nice little piece of that bag comes with it, uh, jewelry of an amethyst stone and the world tree Yggdrasil on there. Now isn't that gorgeous? I love that. And my wife does too actually. Let me hold that there so you can see. My wife loves this too and when she saw it she's like that's mine. I'm claiming it. Um, and which is totally cool. I'm fine with that. But it does. It comes on like a, a braided well or like a just a cord necklace. Um, nothing too elaborate. Just a simple you know clasp type necklace. Um, but it is. It's, 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 it's amethyst stone. Beautiful purple stone. Uh, with that gold lattice work uh, graphic of the world tree Yggdrasil. So that is a beautiful piece and I love it. And the reason why I am putting it at, you know, number two, I say gold, it almost looks more like copper, depending on the lighting that you're, it might be copper. It doesn't say on the pamphlet, but so it could be. Um, but the reason why I say, the reason why I like this particular one uh, and why it's number two is because I got things coming uh, in this crate that uh, appeal not just to me, but to like my wife. And so anybody else who's getting it, if you have a lady in your life or anybody else who loves this type of thing, you got a really nice gift here as well. All right, so well done, NorseBlood.com on that. So without further ado, <laughs> without further ado, I'll do, uh, let's get into item number one. All right, so item number one on the list for me, you guys, like I've said uh, before, I love uh, the quality of jewelry that Norseblood.com sends in their crates uh, and what they sell on their website. You know, a lot of what you uh, see on their site or what would you get in their crate, you can you can quite often get on their website as well. So definitely check them out. Uh, everything is going to be down in the description of this video uh, to find them. But um, one of the things that I love, of course, is is you know the jewelry aspect and and everything that they've sent us far in terms of. You know, pendants and jewelry has always been really impressive to me. The weight of it, the craftsmanship of it, um, the quality, all that type of stuff. And this one is no different. So my number one favoritest item for July's NorseBlood.com July Crate is this handsome Mjolnir necklace right here with the ram's head right on the front. Now guys, tell me that that is not gorgeous. On the front side of it, you got a sturdy, well, first of all, you got a sturdy stainless steel chain. This is a stainless steel, heavy duty stainless steel uh, Mjolnir. So, on the front side, you've got that really strong, attractive looking um, ram's head, and then this really thick hammer with some knot work and the Vulcanite. And the design, guess what? The design goes all the way around, you guys. So, on the back side, the design continues. And that's why, like I said, one thing I love it's not just a stamp thing on one side of their jewelry. 
the designs carry all the way through and around. It is a super sturdy, super solid piece. This thing I absolutely love. I just, I love it. It's, it's gorgeous, it's handsome, it's heavy duty, you know, and it, and, it can, and it hangs at a good length. You know, you see like the necklace that I have uh, that I picked up in New York, the chain is just about right where you want it uh, for the average size. This one here actually is a little bit Okay, there we go. So here we go. Uh, technical difficulties. Um, so as you can see, this one kind of falls a little bit shorter on the on the, on the torso, higher on the torso, whichever you want to look at. The chain is shorter, so it sits higher on the torso. Also, really nice level. You're looking at just maybe an inch or so difference uh, from your average ch length chain. So. Um, Really handsome piece. I love the weight of it. You know, you actually feel like you're wearing something. Um, very sturdy, very strong. So there you guys go. All right, so there you have it. There is my review for the July crate from Norseblood.com. Overall, um, like I said, I, I think there was a little bit of, I'm a little concerned that I didn't get the rules for Nefetoffel. And again, that could have been just my luck. Um, but it's no big deal because I can look them up online um, and hopefully find an accurate version of it. Um, the other thing was the uh, little scratch on the surface of that card box. Again, not a super big deal because I'm not the biggest card player and the card, it's just a box, you know what I'm saying? So not necessarily a really big deal, just fine-tuning little things that I noticed and picked out. But overall, I am absolutely excited and thrilled to get yet another awesome crate from Norseblood.com. They keep outdoing themselves, I feel, uh, with the, the nature of the things. They're getting very diverse in the, the products that they deliver and share with everybody. Like I said, you got something that fits um, our, our feminine folk, uh, things that fit our, you know, uh, the rune casters and the vidkis out here with their casting cloth. You got something that just for the gamers, the card players, for the Hnefetafel in the card game. And then you just got that really, really solid, awesome, very masculine looking uh, Thor's hammer with the ram head on it. So thank you Norseblood.com for hooking me up. Um, if you guys liked the video and if you like Norseblood.com stuff, please head down into the description first of all, check them out. Um, if you haven't yet already, I encourage you to check them out and subscribe to your own uh, crate services. They have a bunch of different plans. It's all on their website, check them out. But if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss anything that I do here on the channel, make sure you click the bell notification so that way you are notified every time that I upload new content. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one.